what is going on you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new and you've never seen my face before hi my name is ash and this is my channel living ash and today we're gonna be doing a QA. I have a lot of you guys who have asked me so many questions from instagram youtube's community tab post and of course if you haven't yet go ahead and follow me on instagram at ash220 underscore first off i do want to say happy new year to all of you i wish you guys all the best in 2021 go for all the things that you guys want to go for in life stay motivated keep pushing grind 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 and get it done and i'm sending you guys all positive vibes and energy in this 2021 new year so i have my phone right here and i'm going to be answering some questions at random that you guys asked me on instagram and the community tab post and <laughs> i guess we're gonna just start off this question that i got the most is how old are you i got this question so much and my hair is bothering me <laughs> i got this question legitimately like i think a good 10 times um maybe more i am 21 years old and a lot of people were actually like in the comments like i think she's this age i think she's that and i'm like no 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 yes i'm 21 years old i'll be 22 on february 20th so remember my birthday i'm just kidding but if you guys ever want to remember my birthday it's ash 220 because 220 is my birthday so if you didn't know so yeah that answers that question i also want to answer this question that says what's your opinion on the in the stars scent from bath and body works i love that scent i actually didn't like it at first i thought it was like too much but i actually like it now and that happens a lot with scents for me like i might not like something and then i end up liking it but i definitely do like it it's either i think that scent is like either you like it or you don't care for it and i actually like it now so it's pretty good are you in college if so major year and career plans i am in college i'm a full-time college student and my major is social work as of right now i'm focusing on my youtube channel which i love to do and that also answers another question is do you have a job outside of youtube and the question is no i mean if you're talking about like a job that i get up and go to no this is my job i do youtube full-time along with being a full-time college student and of course outside of youtube i sell a mercari i do a lot of other things and when companies reach out to me i also work with them as well so youtube really opened a lot of doors for me and i'm praying that in 2021 some even bigger doors can swing right open for me okay so that answers that question this question comes from instagram and it does say have you ever traveled to another country i have i go to jamaica all the time i love jamaica um i would have went this year had the you know well this year last year oh my gosh i have to get used to saying that now i would have went had everything not turned crazy but i've been to many other countries um especially on cruise ships like cruises really give you the opportunity to go to like so many different countries as at once you know so i've been to plenty but jamaica is like the number one country that i literally go to all the time how many bath and body works victoria's secret perfumes do you have I was able to count them before. I haven't counted them since. I maybe have a good, uh, I don't know. I Maybe it's close to 100 at this point, maybe. I'd have to do a video about that separately, but I don't even know. Are you taken? Yes, I am, and I'm so happy to be taken. Um, I am taken, I don't know. Are you, you looking to go on a date with me? <laughs> Let me see, um, any more questions? You should do hygiene empties of the month. I definitely should. The only reason I don't do it is because I did it once before on my channel, like a while ago. And I also don't really like that the, it's it's pretty much trash at that point. Like it accumulates and obviously I know YouTubers do it so they can, you know, make a video, but I just hate having clutter around me. But I think I will do that. If that's something you guys wanna see, I'll deliver, absolutely and i have started um my little empties pile so we'll see how that goes lastly oh i guess this person asked multiple questions but i don't see oh i see them okay lastly how do you use up your lotion shower gels etc quickly but not too quick i one thing i do love that if you're a collector you don't really push to try to finish up everything super fast this is a good question because i definitely think that when you collect the goal isn't to like literally use up all the things that you have it's really just because you like having these things but how do i use them up quickly i think the best way to use up a product quickly is honestly use that one 
more often than other ones that's really all i can say um i could lie and say put them all on at once but i would never ever do that and i never would recommend that but i definitely think once i find a scent that i really like i'm able to use it up pretty quickly like i'll wear it almost every day at nighttime. i pretty much stick to the same scents um and that's really what happens when you use your stuff more often they just end up being used up faster so i just stick to one thing that i really like and of course i have so many different scents so i don't really push trying to use up my stuff that quickly but that's how i would if i was really trying to do you want kids in the future i absolutely do i want lots of kids i love kids so much and i actually do want to have a family vlog channel that is something i watch on youtube a lot you guys would think i watch like hygiene videos all the time i actually more so watch like family vloggers and things like that because that's just something i can't wait to have is like my own little family and kids and all that stuff what's your biggest fear my biggest fear is not doing the right thing in the lord's eyes i definitely don't want to leave this earth and not know the lord that's something that's super important to me and um yeah not knowing the lord you i i have to know the lord i have to know his word and follow what he says and that's super important. Do some people see your collection as crazy? I love you. I love you too. Yes, people think my collection is outrageous, but it's funny because my collection is crazy, but they tell me, can you pick this up for me from Bath & Body Works or Ash, when's the sale? It's always that. So it's like people either love it or they kind of love it on the low. Like it's funny because um, I have a lot of questions about that, like if I ever get hate for having the collection that I do. And I absolutely don't say that I get hate. Um, I do get negative comments here and there, but my channel is so amazing. It's such a positive environment that I rarely ever get like hate comments or people just being crazy like that. But when I do, it's usually people saying like, you know, you're a hoarder or whatever. Um, but I really don't let that bother me because I really am not a hoarder. <laughs> like, I'm really not. Um, I don't really know. I, I think it's a bit offensive. And I actually have a video about that, about how I feel about people calling others hoarders. Because that's actually something people deal with. And it's a really, really hard um, disorder. And I don't have that disorder. And it's the same thing with, like, mental illness and things like that. Like, people say depression. Like, that's not something to play about. So there's, there's actually people who struggle on a daily basis with these type of things. So, yeah. I don't really take that lightly. But um yeah people do think it's crazy what career are you aiming for like are you going to school and yes so i am in school i'm a full-time college student and my major is social work i don't really know what my career is going to be yet i'm focusing on my youtube channel and praying that you know obviously like i said doors will open for me in that way but yeah i this is my last year of school um my last semester i should say i should be graduating in april so yeah, I'm very excited about that and life is good and that's something that I'm really focusing on. I'm looking at my phone, so. As a child, were you ever into hygiene products? When did you start to get into Bath & Body Works, Victoria's Secret? What led you into that type of thing? That's a great question because I wasn't into body care. I could have cared less about body care and Victoria's Secret Bath & Body Works as a kid. But I don't know how many of you guys can relate to the fact that growing up bath and body works was like always a thing whether i was into it or not it was always around like there was people around me that just had you know the hand sanitizer i know you guys probably remember it when it was a triangle shape and like everyone had bath and body works some way somehow in school in high school middle school gym class like you're like can i borrow lotion someone had a bath and body works or victoria's secret lotion but i don't think i really took it seriously until about 18 19 maybe 17 that i was like oh i love these things and i'm starting to collect my perfume collection started to get big i remember in college i had a lot of perfumes and stuff like that i wish i had pictures but i think that's when really i started getting into um fragrances and stuff like that and like actually caring about the sales and things like that would you ever collab with another youtuber absolutely i just recently did a collab with tina marie that was awesome um she's an amazing person so yes i definitely would do a collab with other youtubers i'm super open to that hey girl i love your videos would you ever consider doing hair maintenance videos um <laughs> i actually don't want to do that a lot of people have asked me about hair videos and i actually don't talk about my hair much on my channel because i don't know i just never really um talked about it it's actually really crazy that's the funny thing hair has always stressed me out i, I always wear my hair in braids and things like that that's just my preference for my hair so i don't know if i'll be 
doing any like hair maintenance videos anytime soon but you never know what the future holds when we do a video about how to stay fresh all day that is coming i will literally do that asap like i love that type of video i would love to do that would you ever get a job at victoria's secret or bath and body works no <laughs> i don't think so no i don't see myself working there no that's actually really funny but no but i think if i did work there it would be pretty fun because i actually do keep up with so many things like i actually am passionate about certain things so i think i'd be a good worker there i don't know like i don't know any details about how it is to have a job there but i think that would be cool but no i think i'd probably work at like macy's or something and sell perfumes and things i'd probably be more interested in that like the more luxury fragrance like category um and that would probably be really cool but i don't see myself working at those places hey ash does fragrance body mist expire or have a date or timeline yes it does it does expire um there's several videos on youtube i haven't made them but you can actually check the dates to see when a fragrance expires and you can actually tell sometimes if it's expired like it'll smell weird or it'll turn in color it really just depends do you sell your bbw products since you have so many i actually do i do i sell a mercari i'll leave the link down below i haven't made many sales lately because i haven't listed many new things but i definitely do sell them and i would love to sell more do you sometimes get overwhelmed with how many things you have such as body care that you buy like do you feel like you need to rush and get something else i'm, I'm guessing that's what that says I actually do get overwhelmed with the amount of products that I have only because I do videos so often and that means I have to take out the products for the video obviously to show you guys which of course I don't mind. The cleanup afterwards again can be a little bit more on the uh, overwhelming side so when I have to clean up and put all these things back into place then I'm like oh my goodness you realize you would probably have less to clean if you had less things but in terms of like seeing my things and being overwhelmed no because I really love all my stuff I, I almost get like overly excited because I'm like dang which one do I use today or like what do I pick because I want to use them all but I can't use them all so yeah thank thank you for that question that's a great question even though we are in a pandemic where would you like to travel in 2021 and why i would love to go to like colorado aspen that's been super trendy lately <laughs> for some reason everyone's there and it's just made me want to go because it looks so nice i want to go somewhere cold i want to ski i want to go stay in like a lodge or something that would be super duper cool like i'd love that if you weren't doing youtube what's a dream job you want to have or since doing youtube what's a dream you want to achieve aside from subscriber or youtube plaques those two are super nice questions thank you um if i wasn't doing youtube what's my dream job my dream job would be a job that felt like it wasn't a job that obviously led me to a very successful path in making money and obviously being happy i don't want to work any job that makes me feel stressed out or miserable because life is too short it's it's too short i think we say life is too short too lightly i i really do like there's there's a thing that i always say like life is but a vapor and it really is so i definitely want to live a life that i'm gonna be happy with but of course doing things that are gonna make me happy and make me money of course but i also definitely want to say that um i'm looking for the question again um in terms of like my channel and like goals here besides subscriber and plaques my goal really is i've always said that if i was gonna be a person on the internet someone who is like an internet content creator whatever i always wanted my subscribers to be able to look at me as a person as someone they could relate to i know a lot of youtubers try to say relatable but um they don't respond to their subscribers they don't talk to them they kind of just are like they almost act as if they're above and i understand because it can be so hard on youtube you're putting yourself out there there's so many people from all over that have opinions and you don't even want to like see those comments and stuff but i always wanted to remain relatable and humble and grateful for the people that support me so if i can achieve that on my channel and continue that that is definitely a huge achievement and obviously a goal of mine right now would you ever open up your own skincare body fragrance line absolutely i would love that but i would want to do it in the right way i want to know about the ingredients and things like that like that would obviously take some time but i would love to do that you guys 
and i hope if i did do that you guys would support me because <laughs> that would be amazing this question have you ever been judged or criticized by friends family about your huge body care collection my collection is about the same as yours and my aunt actually called me a hoarder and that i needed psychological help it was quite upsetting has something like this ever happened to you oh my goodness i think it is so mean that people can say things like that like you need psychological help or call people hoarders and i don't take that hoarding thing lightly at all i promise you i don't like that at all again because it is something that people deal with but in terms of psychological help if this is not affecting the way you live if you can't like sleep eat or breathe without perfume then maybe but I don't feel that way at all about myself. I love my things. I actually have a great time talking about my products on my YouTube channel. And I think that's what a lot of people don't realize too because I do have a lot of stuff that's accumulated because I do videos on YouTube. But I don't really have time to explain that to people because certain people are not here to like actually support or just have curious questions. They're just here to talk. But I definitely think that people need to leave other people alone. I don't know why, you know, y'all have card collections and these these celebrities out here collect cars do you understand that <laughs> like they collect cars do you know how expensive cars are if I want to buy three dollar lotion and collect it can you leave me alone buy shop semi-annual sale like no I, I think and yes I do get people that criticize me but it's funny because they may not like my collection but they low-key love my collection because the minute Bath and Body Works has a sale they're calling me hey Ash can you like help me figure out what scents are the best scents to get or you know hey Ash um can I borrow this or oh oh my gosh I just told my friend about your collection but they always they're the first to go oh my gosh you're, you know they they're the first to criticize size so yeah don't take that personally i think it's ridiculous that people say things like that that's kind of messed up but yeah i definitely get comments like that but i don't let that bother me because the love outweighs all of the negative and i'm sorry i'm really sorry you had to deal with that do you deal with a lot of hate since your collection is so big are there people who think it's bad yeah there's people that think it's terrible they're like oh my gosh you have too many fragrance mists you need to stop and i'm like why'd you click the video isn't that weird can you guys get this right the video the youtube is a great place the video title is there for you and there's a thumbnail that literally shows you a glimpse of what the video might be about but you still clicked it because for some reason your your little brain was curious as to what the heck was this video about even though you basically got you got the title you got the name of the video a picture of the video you still clicked watch it and we're unhappy with it it just is so weird to me it's so weird it's weird it's, it's weird it's weird you guys and how do i deal with it i don't i tried i think at one point i used to respond but like I'm, i don't respond i actually i'm quick to like remove people that are just nasty and very negative off my page like i don't tolerate that this is supposed to be a really fun like upbeat community and i don't really have the time or the energy protect your energy in 2021 don't let anybody bring you down especially for something that you like to do because a lot of these people are low-key jealous of what you have and they just are projecting that jealous negative energy onto you so don't take that personal tell them girl bye or boy bye what is your pet peeve when it comes to buying lotion? I hate when I try a new lotion and it dries down sticky and doesn't give a glow. Ew, yeah, I would hate that too. My pet peeve when it comes to lotion is literally putting it on and it feels like there's nothing on. Like, why did I even spend my time to rub the lotion on my body and it doesn't make me feel moisturized? Moisture is super important to me in a lotion. I don't like anything that feels sticky either and I don't like anything that feels like my skin literally just sucked it up and it, I didn't do anything. It takes time to rub lotion on, okay? Like, I really want that thing to do something for my body. So, yeah, that's definitely my pet peeve. <laughs> Is Dove body wash good and long-lasting? I love Dove body wash. I don't talk about it much because the Dove that I was using dried out my skin for some reason. And I don't know what it was. I'd love to start using Dove again, but I love Dove and so many people love Dove as well. And they always smell good. Dove is amazing. What inspired you to do YouTube? I literally just wanted to have a platform where I could speak my mind and speak to people who were passionate about the things that I was passionate about. 
I truly just wanted that, like a community of people that supported me and that I could talk to and I could support, of course. So yeah, that's what inspired me to start YouTube. Like I was like, all these other people are doing it. And I, I think that YouTube, I hope that they never make YouTube more of like, I don't know how to describe it. Like I hope YouTube never becomes a place of like, it's like a legit TV show. I want, I like that it was more personal that you could actually watch people that were just like you on the screen so i hope that youtube can remain that way do you have any siblings nope i'm an only child a lot of people actually ask me that question but i've always wanted a brother or sister so if you guys want to be my brother and sister you can we're now siblings <laughs> What is your favorite color? I actually like that question because it's so simple. I actually don't have a favorite color to be honest. Like I'm, I love neutral colors. I actually am obsessed with like gray. Like I like the, this and I, I know it's not like a bright crazy color, but I actually really like that. I also remember getting a question a long time ago asking me like, Ash, would you ever stop collecting Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret? And I actually think that's an amazing question because I absolutely would stop collecting. Um, it's not something that I think I have to do and I would feel super bad if I didn't have. Um, I think at one point maybe I would just say, you know what, maybe I'll just have one nice perfume and one lotion and call it a day. And I don't think it would be something that would make me super sad or anything like that. So yeah, I would, I would definitely stop. I've gone through many phases of my life of things that I've collected. Like my mom used to tell me, well, I know this, but she always reminds me that I used to collect crayons when I was a kid. Like I had all types of different colored crayons in my collection and I just would not go anywhere without my crayons. And now what do I have? Like one pack of crayons, maybe somewhere in a box in my house. <laughs> you never know like I go through different things so maybe one day I'll be like oh, I'm done with Bath and Body Works but I know there's like people who've been collecting for years and I think that's so incredible and I love it so much so yeah I definitely I definitely would I've had so many difficulties filming this video because my camera's dying the SD card has problems oh my this question says do you only shop Bath and Body Works sales um, yes, I only shop Bath & Body Works sales. I don't buy things full price. If I'm gonna buy something full price, it's only if I'm gonna just do a quick review for you guys, and that's the only time. But for personal stuff, no, I, I only shop sales. Sales, baby, sales. That's what we know on this channel. That's all we know. <laughs> do you believe in Jesus Christ? Absolutely, absolutely. Do you enjoy going out with friends or prefer to hang out at home? I actually prefer to be at home and um, I don't know, hanging out with friends is fun too, but I like to be home. I think sometimes I just stay out of trouble and save myself some stress when I just sit my butt in the house. How did you meet your boyfriend? Oh my goodness. And I also have a question, are you taken? Yes, I am. Um, <laughs> well, I've actually known my boyfriend for years. He's actually was like a family friend more so before we even started dating. So that was that. Do you actually try to use up all the products you have? No, <laughs> I don't try to use them up. I use up, I just, I actually try not to use them up because some of them are kind of rare and I don't want them to leave because I love them and I love the way they smell, I, I would say. So if I have a scent that I really like, I try not to use it up as fast. Is there a giveaway anytime soon? Yes, there is a giveaway coming soon. When I hit 10,000 subscribers, I actually talked to you guys about that and announced that there will be a giveaway. Um, the reason I haven't done it yet is because I had to go open my P.O. box and I have actually done that. So of course now you guys can start sending me things, anything that you guys want, a letter, you wanna write me something, you wanna send something to me, you absolutely can. And if you have a small business or something, I would really love to support your business and you can send it to me through my P.O. box, which will be in the description down below. And I I'd love to show your business or whatever it is that you have going on to the people on my channel my lovely supporters on here so yeah i have my p.o box now so now i can receive and send things to you guys so i will be announcing the rules and everything very very soon this question says what allows you to remain spiritually sound this is a great question because only god can really do that for me i really have to remember that sometimes all i have is the lord and there's only certain things that I can get through and only God can get me through those things so I really rely on God anytime that I feel like I'm overwhelmed there's so many things that people just don't understand or, or 
people can't give me advice and there's battles that I know I cannot fight on my own so I always 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 rely on the Lord for everything so I just always revert back to reading the word and remembering my purpose in life is to serve God and to just serve his people as well so that is something that i really do take pride in especially in terms of staying spiritually sound do you ever get cornrows in your hair um yeah i've gotten them uh a lot actually <laughs> i actually really like cornrows i don't like them all the way like straight back i don't know the the look on my forehead is just not it but i do like cornrows they're cute they're definitely really cute dream vacation bali i want to go there so bad or Bora Bora. I'm not really sure. I just like places that are super relaxing. Like maybe Jamaica too. Like I love Jamaica. I would definitely love to go there again. This question says, how old are you and where are you from? Again, I said I am 21 years old and where I'm from, I was actually born in New York and I live in South Florida now. So yeah, that's that. Will you ever invite your boyfriend to do a video with you? yes we actually have a channel together if you guys don't know it's pat and ash vlogs i would do a video with him on my channel but oh my gosh my hair but um we are in a long distance relationship so it is harder for us to obviously film but yeah we have a channel together actually so if you want to subscribe you can we're trying to figure out how we're going to make some fire content in the year 2020 so well 2021 oh my goodness when am i going to get used to saying 2021 who knows maybe never your top three favorite bath and body works products and scents my top three my number one probably agave papaya sunset you know what this is so hard i don't know <laughs> this is really hard i love seattle and cotton and uh, a year the one right now is my number one scent for sure for sure for sure in what ways do you budget or save money to afford your hygiene hauls without breaking the bank can you give some useful tips and tricks? Thank you. Thank you for the question. What do I do to budget? I only shop sales. That is the number one thing I always tell you guys. I always shop sales. I never buy full price. And coupons, of course. I use a lot of coupons. I ask my friends for their coupons, especially the ones that don't even like Bath & Body Works. Um, I just keep up with the sales. And I realize that if I cannot afford it, I do not buy it. I'm not pressed about buying anything that I can't afford. I, I'm like I have more than enough it's like people it's not that people are like you don't need that much stuff no I don't need any of this honestly but I want it so that's what I do when I have my money and I want something I go buy it is it a need do I need it to live or survive no absolutely not but it's a want a lot of people don't know the difference between want and a need but yeah that's what I do I really just focus on you know what I want I write things down that I really like I have coupons I only shop sales and I literally tell myself okay you're only getting this today or like this is the budget you literally I set a budget I literally like okay you're only spending a hundred dollars at the store and if I go over the hundred dollars you mean I'm putting some stuff back okay and what I really do in terms of buying things like especially like for the hauls and stuff I really do the money I make from YouTube I put some aside I also sell on Mercari and that really helps and I put that into my purchases as well I really try not to buy things that <laughs> I don't need when it comes to the videos like if it's for video purposes the thing is I don't really do things for video purposes does that make sense like I really just like yesterday I think I did a video and I was talking about the perfumes that I bought and I didn't do that for video purposes like I genuinely got those perfumes and 75% off perfumes so I bought that because I wanted them and they were like $9.87 each that's so cheap they're normally $39.50 would I pay for that no I would never but I got it and I was like oh let me go talk about it because I definitely want one you guys to know about this because I would be mad if someone knew something like that and they didn't tell me so that's why I decided to share those things with you guys and I really just watch what I get like if you guys see me like I think I did like a Burlington and Ross video not too long ago and I actually didn't really buy much I bought two things in the store but I did a whole video on the store and how it looked just so that you guys could see and you guys can actually have an idea of what is in stores before you go 
and that's really my intention i never really try to buy a whole bunch of things just for video purposes like semi annual sale it's great that i have my channel because i now can show people the things that i buy like i was buying crazy stuff during semi annual sales before youtube but i never really had anyone who cared to know or see it so it was just there and i, I would for me to enjoy so that was fun but otherwise it was just that but now i can show you guys and that's my channel i want it to be relatable i want it to be a place where we can talk and we can share things and that's what i always ask your scent of the day that's something um for us to interact with each other i love to hear what you guys are wearing and of course now we're at that point of the video where i'm going to tell you guys what i'm wearing today and this one's super different so my scent of the day today is this this is the laura mercier verbena infusion gel body moisturizer it's very pretty it gives me citrus vibes i smell very citrusy today it has heavy notes of citrus i don't know i have to find out the notes of this but that was kind of like my intention today i wanted to smell more citrusy this is how it looks i actually got this on sale as well these are normally so expensive but i got it for really cheap i think i got it for like 12 bucks you guys so yes i always shop sales i got this at an outlet so this is my lotion for the day and i'm also wearing the verbena infusion eau de toilette this is obviously the matching to it i always spray the same scent on after using a matching lotion and of course because we know we love bath and body works and of course it reminds me of this white citrus scent i sprayed white citrus just all over with these two like well this and then that's my scent of the day so let me know in the comments down below what you guys are wearing today i'd love to hear about it i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and got to know me a little bit better i wanted to answer some of your questions because of course i do have new subscribers and of course my existing subscribers i know you guys had a lot of questions so i hope that that answered a lot of your questions and i hope to do more of these in the future thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye guys